So I have my telescope all geared up. As you can see, the 4.5 inch Newtonian um, with the SV Boney 705C without filters. With the Como corrector, as you can see, 55 millimeters back focus. And I'm in the comet. There are some clouds at the moment, of course, in the part of the sky where I want to image. Um, and it's, at the moment, it's on, it's on it. I put the coordinates on Stellarium. And I'm hoping the clouds pass by so I can continue because I don't have much time remaining. It's like 4, four o'clock, ten, 10 minutes already. So I don't have much time. I hope, I hope I can get at least 15 minutes on this. And we'll see. Uh, but the telescope is pretty good. It has, it has pretty good collimation. As you can see a tiny mirror, 4.5 inch. I think the only modification I will do, as you know, I cut the tube, but I think as you can see, there's a bit of draw tube sticking out and I may chop it off because it's blocking a bit of the mirror. Uh, maybe ch chop 10 millimeters or something of it. But yeah, we'll see. Okay, so I'm currently aligned on Star Merak and I'm searching the coordinates at the moment. On Stellarium, so, so I can go to the um, uh, common lemon. Well, 10 hours. I'm using since on my phone today, so it's still not gonna see me. I'll put the coordinates. So, well, RA1010. I hope these coordinates are correct. 4 to 116. Sure, they should be because the telegram is pretty good. Well, 3 to 2. The moment is going to the comment now. Oh, yeah, there it is. You can see it. Awesome. I'm so. So pumped, I never, it's been a long time since I missed a commitment. I'm so looking forward to this. Last comment I missed was Comet Atlas. I'm not even using guiding, nothing today. Yes. But I don't have much time, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I need to get to get on with imaging. Oh no. There's a cloud exactly where the comet is. <laughs> uh, I have to wait for it to move, I think. Crap. In the whole sky, only where the comet is, there's a cloud. <laughs> I need to wait for it for it to to move. Yeah, exactly. You won't believe it. Exactly where the telescope is pointed is the comet. <laughs> of course, it's always like that, huh? No worries, we wait for it to move a bit and then we start again. Alright, cloud moved a bit and now we can start it. I think the tail is up here, I think it's good like this, but I have to check. Because, um, uh, as you know, comets have a long tail behind them and it's important to frame them, um, frame them good. Because if not, you'll get only the core of the comet. And what is not helping today, my neighbor left the Porsche light on. Unfortunately, I'm going to start again because the first, the first uh, frame, I think it was clouded up. Yeah, my neighbor left the Porsche light on today. 
صوتان كي نايبر All good things are going good today But I just wanted to get a quick shot of the comment I know lots of you guys um, have been following me and wanted me to shoot this and the comment is very low at the moment it's in the almost at the earth major and there's a cloud coming as well i have to i have to pause this deck because there's a cloud exactly passing in front again It always seems to be the case when imaging comets. Even last year, I suffered from this fate. I have to wait for the for the cloud again. All right, clouds. I think past I can continue. <laughs> I reframed the comet, so the tail comes here. And now, a good thing to know about comets is the stars will um, not be. They will move a bit, not exactly as the comet. So, because the comet is moving faster than the star, so you can't go much longer than five, than seven minutes, I think. Because last year, I think it was seven minutes, something like that, the limit. Because it, then it was the stars were trailing. Um, but you know, you don't need lots of lots of time with comets, but we'll see. Because this is what, what will happen is Sharp Cap has a line on a comet as well. This one. But yeah, what will happen is it will follow the comet, but the stars will start trailing. Cause, and if you, if you follow the stars to stack, it will bring the stars good, but the comet will trail. <laughs> so it's a love and hate relationship. Um, it's pretty normal with comets. Everywhere. Most people know this, but. I'm gonna do it manually today. I'm gonna not go because I, I cannot connect it because I'm running it, running it through Wi Fi. This is a brief session, as you can see. I woke up at, at 4 o'clock in the morning at 3 3.45 just for this because I don't have machines and the clouds are coming. It's been cloudy for the past two weeks at the moment, so I'm happy with the small chance I'm getting. And the stars are not trailing so far. It's the comet. It's pretty cool. Atlas was a bit brighter. Um, but, but you know, this is low at the moment, so that, that's just affecting as well. But I'm going to save this so I can see which, which will look better. I'm going to do that a bit. It's important to do, the, to do there manually. I just do it a live view and I move the arrows left and right. That's enough. Do that every bit of frames and yeah, it's enough. But obviously, if you're dithering with shark, it is better. But when connected through Wi Fi, you, you can't really do that. It's uh, better, to, and I don't have enough, enough USB ports to connect with uh, with cable, because I have two. I have the two of them occupied. But stars are pretty good still. They're not trailing. I mean, maybe trailing slightly, but it's fine by me. Suppose that the comet will start to trail, not not the stars, because shark at the moment it's stacking on the stars. But yeah, I will continue this live stack and we'll show you the final image. Clear skies.